Hey y'all, we're back. Our first stop this time out is right outside Gateway, Colorado, across the border in Utah, along the Dolores River. We've been here before with the Forerunner in a gazelle tent. Slept scared with the lights on and the fire going and music playing all night. The stories of bears and cats from this area is what drove us to get an off-road trailer to begin with. First it was the Opus POS light, and now the Summit. This time we're going up in the LaSalle's, the Bajos, Henry's, and Wasatch Mountains where the animals are far more abundant. So join us for the next five or so videos while we explore the highest points our forerunner and the Mission Overland Summit will take us. Well, we made it to Colorado. Yay. Sorry, I meant Utah. Uh, a little later than we wanted to, and we got an epic spot down on the end of four and one tenth road. Uh, by the time we got here, we're so close to the cliffside on the other side that the sun's already down, and it's what five. It's about six o'clock p.m. Yeah. But it's a pretty epic spot. Uh, pretty stoked to show it to you. So take a look. Sounds like someone's coming down here. This is doing all the work. Hey, this one even comes with a a grill. It's kind of weird because this is BLM land and there's about I'd say 10 to 15 different campsites down this road and this is the only one I think that has a grill. So what are we having tonight, Liz? Some uh, Mountain House Adventure Meals. Because we're on an adventure. <laughs> we're on an adventure. That and we got the camp late and it's hot, so we figured something quick and easy. Quick and easy. That's definitely a beaver. I know it's dark, but we're on a pretty simple setup this year. I mean, that's the least I've ever had in the back of this Forerunner on a three-weeker. Of course, you have to get some more mountain time back there. I'm keeping all my cameras just in backpacks. My computer's in the gray bag. Uh, drone. Sealed Husky food box. The other box is this recovery. That's the bathroom bag and water behind that and there's a bunch more beer and a TRX Bronco little RC car first aid your other stuff picked this up at Walmart actually because this guy is a little too high or too low just right well we'll see it's a lot of work cranking that thing off sucks yeah so does the amber actually help the little film you put over it. 
I don't know. So do I have to tear it off? And then see what happens. I film it. Good morning. I went to bed pretty early last night. We had a long day. So I was up at 5.30 this morning and uh, got some shots of the sun coming up a little bit and uh, saw a turkey. That was pretty cool. And then today we're gonna go up to the LaSalle's and see if we can get over the pass. From what I heard, LaSalle Pass is closed. Geyser Pass is probably closed. So we might skip it all and uh, come back in a couple of weeks maybe it'll be open uh, but first we're gonna have some coffee eat some breakfast and go check out this cabin that we parked just down from it's like an old torn down cabin i don't know we checked it out last time we were here for a couple of minutes but uh, we'll run a camera through it and show you So it seems sometimes life throws you lemonades. Uh, I'm not gonna make lemonades. So sometimes life throws you lemons. I'm not gonna be able to make lemonade out of these, but it seems our uh, regulator went out on our propane. I thought it was maybe the can, but I did use the can, test everything before I left, so it's not that. And I put it on our fire pit can and it's not working. Stove's not lighting. The uh, hot water heater is throwing a code, which means it's not getting any propane, so I'm thinking the regulator went out. We got mountain homes. I guess that's going to be breakfast. Uh, oh man, everything's going wrong. The fancy uh, paper towel holder 
You gotta upgrade this shit a little bit. Let's see if we can put some of that double-sided Gorilla tape on there. That might help. Well, after some... Oh, my hat's on crooked. I can't have it crooked, otherwise someone will fucking say something about it. After looking at uh, the nozzle on this thing, it looked like it might have been clogged, and then I kind of tapped it, and then I tapped the uh, regulator, and uh, I heard a pssst this last time I plugged it in, tried it out again, and now it's working, so that's awesome. That's That was going to be a headache, but I don't have any double-sided sticky tape to fix the fancy paper towel holder, but that's all right. I can get by without that. Uh, you know what? On second thought, we're going to have breakfast, right? ADDs is kicking in this morning. I didn't even take any Excedrin. Well, I saved you a coffee montage, so now you gotta watch my bacon cook. It's a little high, isn't it? She left, the, she put the bacon away for me, but she left the refrigerator open. Oops. Well, it's going to be a weird day. Maybe we should just go back to bed. I mean, it's a pretty cool spot, but it's going to get up into the high 80s here today. And I mean, we got all these nice trees, which is a nice little oasis in the desert, but... I'm making pancakes the easy way. <laughs> it's shaking poor. Yeah, you're not some cookie on the, in the <laughs> southwest getting flour bags out and hey, eggs and, and we water. we get two meals out of this. Yeah, it lasts for a couple days. So, that's good. Quick and easy. So, we're going to go check out this little cabin. What do you say, Les? Let's do it. It's pretty warm out. So, this doesn't have any actual uh, literature on what this cabin was or anything. It's more for the... Uh, tamarisk tree species that they're uh, doing out here so and the Dolores River restoration but we're gonna go check out inside there So it looks like it had some gypsum board in here, so that's, you know, what, 40s, 50s at the latest, but it looks like it might be even newer than that. This one, anyway. Yeah, the other one's a little more rustic. Had an attic. That's pretty cool. Glad to see there's not too much graffiti and shit in here. You know? Yeah. This one looks a little older, huh? It's before caulk. They just cemented on top of their windows. It's got a little gypsum board in there too, but I'm sure that was well after they built it. Hey, Liz. Hey, Liz. Wearing flip flops in a danger zone, are you? Yes. <laughs> well, people were shorter back then, I yes, think. Yes, they were. This door's a little higher. Ground's lower. Maybe. She's taking pictures of these unicorns that her niece gave her. Different places over the years and send them to her. And this tiny of a place and it has four doors and three windows. It's pretty good. You needed as much natural light as you could. The 
like that's the outhouse up there on the other side of the fence. I don't know how good of an idea it is to poop up uphill from your house, but quite the view though, huh? Pretty cool. So they got a little pipe coming out of there in the shade. I wonder if they pipe their poop all the way down to the river. All right, Les, what do you say we get out of here? Yeah, let's go hit the trail. I'm ready. See if you can get up uh, LaSalle. Yeah. LaSalle Pass might be closed, but if it is, we'll come back some other day. All right, work. So that's it from the Dolores River Valley. Join us next time to see if the LaSalle Mountains beat us again when we try to get up over the pass. I mean, it's the whole reason we're out here in the heat of June. Hey, thanks for watching, and if you got this far, like and subscribe to see more.